Hey folks, Tegniverse here. Today we are taking a look at this mask that was printed on one of our live streams. We did some paint and I'd like to show you how I finished it. So let's take a look right now. Tegniverse channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash Tegniverse. So as usual with a 3D print, once you get done printing, the first part of the finishing process is sanding. So that's what I did. I sanded and I sanded and I sanded some more. Now I can't overstate this enough. After I got done sanding, I sanded some more. This was uh, probably three or four different sessions over about a day and a half of me just sanding this guy with different tools, different grains and different tips to get it as smooth as I possibly could. Now the paint we're gonna apply in one of the next parts of this video is gonna fill in any little tiny layer cracks that I didn't quite get but the sanding is the most important part. The next thing we did was begin to apply a base coat of some primer. Now this isn't actually a primer specific paint. This is just another really light colored acrylic that I found works really, really well for getting in to those tiny little layers and sealing them really well, as well as creating a smooth surface to kind of prime and paint the finished surface onto. And at this point, I really am just gobbing it on. I'm gonna use quite a bit of paint on this first layer, and I wanna make sure that I get enough of it into those little cracks that we were talking about so that it actually fills them and creates that smooth surface that I'm looking for. So being pretty liberal with the paint, pouring on quite a bit, this plastic is also gonna absorb the first few layers of paint, so I'm gonna need more than you usually would in order to get that first layer coating actually to coat the plastic. Now that I have a couple good coats of the color I've used for my primer on there and it's been allowed to dry, I'm going to go ahead and start applying a liberal amount of the metallic paint that I'm going to be using as well. And as you can see, we're basically just dousing it in paint here. And then I will spread it around and help smooth that out as I'm painting across the features of the actual print. You can see that it actually looks really, really smooth so far and things are coming along quite nicely. And again, as with the primer, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a couple of coats. The only difference is on the second coat, as it is drying before it is completely dry while it's still a little bit tacky, I did run through here with a really, really tough bristle brush to kind of give it a metallic grain feature to it and then added an additional third coat to kind of make that feature a little bit more subtle. Finally, before going in with a nice clear coat finish, after all my layers of paint had settled and dried and I was happy with it, I decided to add a little extra flare. Now that's where this beautiful crimson handprint comes in. I dubbed this mask the Mask of the Crimson Hand and I think it's come out quite well. Although you will notice if you look at a couple of the places in the handprint, that paint was pretty thick and I'm worried about it flaking or chipping. So we're gonna go ahead and seal the mask up with some clear coat. Now, I found this great acrylic sealer at Walmart. It was only a couple bucks for the bottle. I don't need to show the brand, just cheap generic stuff. But let's take one more look at the mask and see how it came out. So I'm very, very happy with this so far. I think it is probably one of my better prints. You can see that metallic grain in there that I was talking about. You can see it's nice and smooth and it's got a very, very nice luster thanks to that clear coat finish. The other nice thing about this is it fits perfectly onto my face no straps no harnesses no clips no clasps it just goes right over my face pops on and stays there with my ears holding it which is pretty phenomenal so that's going to be it for this video guys we will see you in the next one well that's it guys that's going to wrap up this video if you've noticed the shirt the merch is available go ahead and check out the teespring merch link down below it won't be available on a channel store until i reach 10,000 subscribers and so far i am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.